Good morning, everybody, and hi. Welcome to another episode of MTG Arena. Brought to you by the wonderful folks down at Vermont Gaming Academy. They are located in the University Mall, across from Applebee's, in beautiful South Burlington. Thank you guys so much for coming back for a whole nother episode. Those of you watching live, thank you. And those of you who are watching after on YouTube, I appreciate you guys so very, very much. As a matter of fact, I've been thinking about it. I'm going to be ending up buying some uh, booster boxes. And I was thinking about uh, taking a couple packs out of those and giving away as prizes for those of you who are commenting in the comment section below. And um, hit that subscribe button, that like, share the videos. Uh, with all your friends in case you think they might like it. Uh, and to show my appreciation, I might give some of those booster packs away. You never know. Um, if they ever come out with a way to give digital stuff out, I would love to do that. Speaking of digital stuff, it would be nice if they come out with the um, Commander format. And that could be in the works future down the road. Anyway... Today, I thought we could start by opening some booster packs. I like this. I like being able to do this uh, first thing, see if we can really amp up our game. All right, so our first pack here. All right, this card was giving me a little bit of trouble last night, um, but I did manage to uh, take them down. Let's see. Okay. And I'm ready. Ooh, Theater of Horrors. I just like the title. Awesome. I love these, like, evil gestures that are coming out. At the beginning of your upkeep, exile the top card of your library. During your turn, if an opponent loses life or lost life this turn, you may play this card. Cards. You may play cards exiled with Theater of Horrors. That's pretty cool. Theater of Horrors deals one damage to target opponent or planeswalker. Not too shabby. Not too shabby at all. Our next pack. Come on. Cross those fingers. All right. We got a common wild card. I don't mind getting wild cards at all. Ooh, slime bind. Oh, beautiful. Cool, cool. Deploy, depose. Nice. And... Oh, Pestilent Spirit. Ooh. Menace, Death Touch, Instant and Sorcery Spells you control have Death Touch. Oh, that's insane. Adding Death Touch to an Instant or Sorcery Spell. Imagine having, like, you know, a cheap Instant Spells, like, you know, shock and being able to just kill whatever you want. That's amazing. I I haven't come across this card yet, but I already love it. Look at the artwork on that. It's amazing. Oh, I'm going to make a pestilence deck with that. Sweet. That is beautiful. Oh, we got to work on something with that. Probably one of those red uh, black decks. All right, Blade Juggler, Human Rogue. Yes, here we go with this kind of evil jester theme. Spectacle, what a spectacle. Spectacle. You may cast this spell for its spectacle cost rather than its mana cost if an opponent lost life this turn. Okay. So it's kind of like what I'm seeing is like red and black. You burn them then you can pay this the special cost. All right, so that makes sense. So you'd play this on your second... Well, you could play it on your first end step if you had an instance right there to play. I kind of like this creature here. I just noticed this. Ooh, a mutant humunculus. Nice. That's pretty exciting, and I know these are just commons, but... You know, I'm seeing them for the first time, and I just noticed this, and this is, like, pretty cool looking. Not bad. Uh, I did come across this. This was used on me last night. Uh, no pun intended, guys. No pun intended. 
<laughs> uh, target player reveals their hand. You choose a non-land card from it. That player discards that card. And our rare is... Unbreakable Formation. Creatures you control gain indestructible until end of turn. If you cast this spell during your main phase, put a plus one, plus one counter on each of those creatures and they gain vigilance until end of turn. That's pretty sweet. All right. How's everyone doing this morning? I am exhausted. I stayed up way later than I should have. Ugh. So if you catch me yawning, I am going to apologize right away. <laughs> Looks like we gained us another uh, rare wild card. That's awesome, as always. Ooh. Hacrobat. So there's this whole theme that I'm seeing that I like. And it's uh, based around this whole spectacle thing. Hacrobat gets, gains death touch until end of turn. So a lot. So it's like a death touch burn style of deck and I can I can roll with that for sure. Skewer the critics. We've seen a couple times storm strike. Nice. And anything else under cities embrace. Open the gates. Search your library for a basic land card or gate, reveal it and put it into your hand. Shuffle your library. All right, that's nothing fancy. Okay, and Another rare wild card, which is perfectly fine with me. <laughs> All right. Our last pack of the morning. Hopefully not of the day. Oh, a new merfolk here that I haven't come across before. Just a simple three cost three two merfolk warrior. Nice. Scuttle gator. Scuttle gator. Uh, mammoth spider. Law Mage is Binding. Ooh. Twilight Panther. That's pretty cool. I have a special friend, Mindy. She would love this cat spirit. All right. Syndicate Guild Mage. Human Cleric. Tap target creature with power four or greater. Nice ability. Syndicate Guild Mage deals two damage to target opponent or planeswalker. Nice, I like that. And he's not very expensive, and he comes out as a 2-2. Not bad at all. In our rare is the Hollowed Fountain. As Hollow Fountain enters the battlefield, you may pay 2 life. If you don't, it enters the battlefield tap. Alright. Looks like I'm going to have some deck building uh, a little later. Again, if you'd like to see that process, let me know in the comments below. Uh, so you can see kind of how my thinking works when building decks. I always accept tips and tricks and uh, whatever tactics you guys uh, want to offer. Absolutely throw them my way. Alright, so let's uh, jump in here and start working on our dailies. I've done a lot because I did a lot last night. Blue or black spells. Uh, we need our first win to get 250 coins, which will get us another booster pack. Uh, our next win will get Another booster pack, so we should have at least, at the very least, two more booster packs by the end of the show. All right. Um, jump right into it. Black or blue spells. So we don't... I love this Goblin Burn deck. I was playing with it all night last night. Like, it is... It's not the best deck in the world, but it is pretty darn good. I have to say, like, I'm impressed with myself that I even got that far with it. Black or blue, black or blue, we could do Walk the Plank. Mm -hmm. Graveyard Bash. Arcane Inventions. Haven't had much luck with that. Graveyard Bash is hit or miss. Walk the Plank is kind of been hit or miss but let's go with graveyard bash just because i love my zombies i i love the dark side of things okay 
I am ready to jump in. Grave digger, death baron, walking corpse, doom descender. I couldn't ask for a better opening hand. That's for darn sure. All right. Just looking at my hand, so far we're off to a rocking good start. And let's see. Aha, we just pulled that one. Pulled out a gate, all right. Nothing we can do this turn, but that's all right. I'm gonna play their gate. Wonderful. Now we can start making things happen. I need to see if I can find all the parts to make. Um, I built an army of darkness deck from Paper Magic, and it's so awesome. I love it. Let's see here. Da, 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 da. You know what? I'm going to throw that up first. Give me a 2 2 zombie. Give me a 2 2 zombie. Yes. Thank you, my friend. Then we can throw out the Death Baron. Okay, so I think this is going to be... Ooh, I don't know. Now they're throwing me off. Hmm. I was going to say this is this right here, Enchantment Aura deck-ish. Um, they have first strike, don't they? Yep. No blocks. No blocks. No whammies, no whammies. All right, here we go. We do that. Pull this out. Bam! Beautiful. Love it when a plan comes together. And I feel like I've grown a lot since playing Arena. Um, I'm getting in a lot of practice. Oh, that's dirty. Um... And I feel like I'm learning how to better play my cards. So if you haven't picked up MTG Arena and you play Magic, it's a good way to keep up your skills, especially if there's maybe extended periods where you don't get to play. Um, it, it's just fantastic. I really enjoy this. We're going to play Gravedigger so we can get our Death Baron back. Because that makes sense, right? Yeah, we're going to take that action. Minus three, minus three. We can get rid of that next turn. Darn that first strike. Wow, they've got a full color array going on. Actually, I think I want to put out Death Baron. Again. And we have another Grave Digger to back everything up. I'll attack. You can't be gaining that life there, bud. I'm sorry. It just... Oh, ho, 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 dirty. Good move. Oh. Ah, oh, hence why I didn't... <laughs> That's why we have this. That's fine. That is fine. Oh, that's got to go, though. That's going to drive me nuts. Um, I take that back. <laughs> That thing has to go. Oh. Oh, no. Oh, I'm in trouble now. Oh, gosh. Oh, good game. Well played. You know what? I got to get I got to hand it to him. I did not see that coming. Good game, my friend. Wow, I was wondering what the heck was going on here. That makes sense. Fantastic. Fantastic. Oh, we lost one of our levels on our gold four, tier 4. i hoping to get past this and get back to platinum so we can start grinding away there. How, many, how much time do we have left in this season? Uh, 16 days? I don't know, guys. I don't know. Hmm. 
All right, uh, maybe I'll work on that deck tonight and uh, see what I can come up with. Maybe we'll kick some butt. So we're still in the same area, but black definitely did not work for us. I could run it again, but just to keep the show interesting, let's bounce around a little bit. Let's do this deck. Uh, eh. That's how I feel about it. <laughs> I don't play it. But every once in a while, I do like how the dailies kind of encourage you to play with different decks. Oof. Okay, a lot of control. And then a four cost. Hmm. No real early game stuff. You know what, though? Uh, I'm not feeling it to begin with. Not going to do it. Okay. Yeah, none of that's really going to help me right now. Um, no point of really tying that down. Save this for something bigger. They're playing green. They might have the hexproof. What is it, Carnosaur or Trinosaur with the armor on it? Who knows? Usually with green, you get the big old beast. Oh, I'm so sorry. I apologize. I got I got wrapped up into talking to my to my fans. <laughs> Resolve. Oh boy. See, there's no you're on YouTube button <laughs> or you're on Twitch. You're live with us now. Whoop my butt live. Ay ay ay. No, 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 no. Oh, this hand's disgusting. I went with it, though. I mean, I'm not hurting from it right now. Oh, good lord. Um, that's going to have to go. At least save me another round. All right, what did I just pull? What did I just pull? A fuddle. That's just going to allow me to draw a card. Let's get this guy out. I don't control an artifact, but... You know, what can I do? I kind of... Yep. I knew that was coming. I knew it was coming. And there, well, this ain't the hexproof one, but still, it's a 10 10. It's a 10 10 beast. All right, all right. This does that. Um, hmm. Definitely got to lock it down. Done. All attack. First blood with a deck I don't know nothing about. <laughs> <laughs> working with just basic knowledge and strategy. Nothing more than my wits. Oh, that stupid card. Ah. All right, all right. Um, hmm. What does this do? Elf Warrior, whenever another creature you control enters the battlefield or dies if that creature's power is greater. Oh, just another annoyance. Okay, well, going with this. Next. Okay, I can get him out next turn. Let's see. He's not going to use that to block with, so I'm going to get at least another hit in. Well, no, he could use that. I didn't even think about that. I didn't think he'd use it. Oh, well. Crap. Okay. 
Ugh, another big beast. Gonna have to lock that one down too. Yeah, I see what you're doing there, bud. Oh. Okay. We're going to destroy the poison tip of Archer. I know it's going to cause a chain reaction of stuff. Uh, no, because we're going to lose it to that. Oh boy. Oh, of course another one would enter the battlefield. Why not? Yep, mm-hmm. Okay. I'm gonna have to eat it. I'm gonna eat it and like it. Because <laughs> I'm dirty. Draw two cards. Well, let's lock him down first. I think that's more important. Then we have enough mana left over to definitely cast that or the Guild Sentinel. Hmm. Now... I think we've got everything locked down enough. It's safe to draw this. See what we can get out of it. Okay, we got our Sphinx. Field, you may target creature and opponent controls to its owner's hand. Okay. Yeah. Um, even Wind Mage and Guild Sentinel. Having a flyer would be nice. The only problem is he's got reach and death touch. Hmm. Now, this has nothing special. I'd... Okay. Yep. Yep, I see it. Oh, this does not look good. Does not look good. That's okay. I mean, that's part of the process. Enters the battlefield. You may return target creature... Opponent controls to its owner's hand. Let's see. Poison Tip Archer is just going to come back out. It will have summoning sickness, so it won't be able to attack. But if something of theirs dies, it will hit me. This thing here has counters on it. It'll get rid of the counters. As long as Pelt has three more counters, it has trample. Ugh. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> I'm struggling here. Ah! Um. No, I'm better. Better hold back. Rather attack with that flyer than. Yeah, you're gonna have to put it back out. Now it's a one-one again. Let's see. So six, seven, eight, four, five, six, seven. We can cast both these next turn. Oof. Why? I don't understand, like... Oh, wait. I see what's going to happen. Three, four, five. Huh. He's going to get me with the poison tip archer. It should only deal two damage. Okay, so I'm down to one life. I'm down to one life. You got me next turn. Oh boy. Tap and untap artifact you control rather. I don't have. I mean, I've got. Eh. Eh. He's a 5 6, though. I mean, 6. And then that's only going to leave me with 2 mana, or I can get out these two. The hard thing is, is if I try to kill that. That's just going to deal one damage to me. Oh, whenever another creature dies. So if I kill that, I'm fine. Okay. That's fine with me. I don't mind killing things. I'm stressing, guys. I'm stressing. I'm going to do what I said I was going to do. 
Get more defenders out there. Attack with the Sphinx. Let's see if I can hold on with this one life. Just, just one life left. Come on. Nope. 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 You suck. <laughs> ah, good game. What a great battle. All right. I'm going down swinging. Oh, had some tough choices there. Again, with a deck I don't use that often and not getting the combos that are supposed to work with it. Hardly any artifacts. I mean, I had the one. Ay, Dios mío. All right. So we've only got, what, six more spells of the, to go. Let's, uh, let's up our chances of casting those. Walk the Plank is an okay deck. It's been modified a little bit. Not very, very much. Oh, uh, yeah. This is a pretty good hand. Not too shabby. I've definitely had worse. Let's see. Come on. What you got? Oh, is this going to be one of those big multicolored ones? Is that the thing right now? The giant multicolored decks that uh, have that su surprise spanking at the end? <laughs> Look for that land. Yeah. Get these flyers out. Yeah, you take that, man. Underrealm Lich. Wow, Zombie Elf Shaman. Wow. Okay. Just the battlefield return target creature and opponent controls to its owner's hand. Yes, I think I will do that. I don't want to give him this one because then that's just going to give him another land. Flyers, go! I'm just going fast and hard right now. And no puns intended, people. This is PG-13. <laughs> All right. We got to definitely murder that thing. Mid. Fast and hard. Sacrifice your little elf to block that one. It's fine with me. And they concede. I mean, it's not the greatest of wins, but I'll take it. <laughs> Yay, we got our booster pack. We got 250 gold. Let's claim that prize. All right, so we definitely got one pack, two packs, because we got 1,000 gold there. And I definitely want to finish this. We were on a roll with Walk the Plank, so let's see if we get a good hand again. I guess they felt they were doomed from the start. And that's okay. I mean, I wish they would play played through because you never know. But, uh, and now we'll never know. <laughs> Drowned Catacomb, Island, Departed Deckhand, which can't be blocked. Okay. And a murder to back us up. Let's do it. Two murderers. All right. I like having two murderers in hand. Nice. All right. Let's throw this out there. Departed deck hand. Now this one has adept too. Okay. Or adapt, not adept. 
I was thinking Aether Adept in my head. I don't know why. It just is what it is. It's still early in the morning. The, like the kids just went off to to school. I've only had one cup of coffee. And I was debating on whether or not to go back to bed. Hmm. Return a pirate card from your graveyard to your hand. There's nothing in my graveyard, my friend. So let's get that flyer out there. Does this thing have reach? No. Okay. Just checking. And we're going to murder it anyway in a minute. Yeah, we are. Because uh, that's pretty much the only thing that we can do unless we draw another land. Oh yeah, that's got to die. Go ahead and get your licks in now, buddy. Oh, and we got another one. Thank goodness we got two murders. Yep, go ahead. No blocks. Okay, well, we did get that. But we can't deal with this too much longer. And he's going to pull that other one out. So let's destroy that. Go ahead and dig our claws in a little deeper there. How's the weather where you guys are at? Here it is dropped down to 4 degrees this morning. It is insanely ridiculous. And we're going to quickly end this crap. <laughs> uh, and then we're supposed to get a snowstorm tonight. Possible power outages and blackouts and all that stuff. So I figured... Oh crap, I better get the show done early today. So I'm going to actually try to do two shows. We got the MTG Arena here. All right! And we also have... Um, I think I'm going to do some Minecraft live. Because uh, I want to build a library so that I could start the Mistcraft stuff. And if you haven't watched that series and you enjoy Minecraft, I am doing um, Feed the Beast Infinity Evolved. Of course, that is also brought to you by Vermont Gaming Academy, whom with which this show would not be possible. So I have to give them a shout out because they are awesome. <laughs> and I think this match is over. I think we've got them by the brass. Yeah, uh-huh, uh-huh. I'll uh, leave that for you guys to finish up. <laughs> oh, boy. Yeah, give them pirates the plus one, plus one. The question is, are they going to concede? Or are they going to let me finish them off the proper way? Are they going to go down in a blaze of glory? Or run from the fight? We shall find out in just a moment. They're deciding on what to do. Fell Spectre, they are going for it. Discard a card. What should we discard? Hmm. Let's discard that because it's kind of useless at this point. They are going for it. What a champ. Draw two cards and discard a card unless you attacked with a creature this turn. Okay, well, we're not going to do that. But I think we should hostage take this. And then we're going to go in for the kill. All attack. Oh, they they ran away at the end. They couldn't take it. Oh, Pirates for the win. Did we meet our goal? Yes, we did. Absolutely. All right, let's see, check our time here. We're at the 35-minute mark. Why the heck not? Let's keep going. Let's change up our deck here. Let's do the Goblin Burn since we don't need to cast spe uh, spells of specific color now. Uh, specific. We're just going completely for wins uh, to try to get those uh, extra bonus items. I don't know how many rounds we'll get in before time is up, but we definitely have some booster packs to open. I love starting and ending this way. It's awesome. I think it's... It adds to the entertainment, and so it's not just playing. It's about opening packs as well for those who like that. I know I do. I try to satisfy everyone any way I can. Okay, let's see here. 
All right, so we got some haste. We're going to get out some goblins pretty quickly here. We're going to draw first blood. That's for sure. He's one of my favorite little 1-1s. One I mean, I rarely use his ability to m give anything haste because this is all completely red. Um, and I don't see the point in it, but... I definitely... Definitely, I really like how this deck turned out. It's fast. It's... I mean, it's got small creatures, but it's also got that burn. That pain in the butt. Oh my god, you just killed my creature and now you're attacking with like 20 goblins. You know? I really... I like how this one came out. I'm, I'm proud of myself. <laughs> I like a good goblin deck. Enigma Drake. Oh yay, verily. Alright, well we don't have anything powerful enough to take it down yet. Now we do. We just got to get uh, the land. I'm going to put out Gutter Snipe in case we do use that Lightning Strike. Uh, next, um, we're definitely going to go all attack. You can only block one of them. And, and that's kind of the key thing with the when you have multiple, even if they're small. If you can attack with more than one, they're only going to be able to take out one of them or block one of them. So go for it. Just get right in there. Especially he can't deal any damage right now. Yeah. He can only build his power. So we definitely got him on the ropes with this one. I wonder if he's how much he's going to rely on that one. Okay. Shiv and fire. Yep. I got some of those too. He's going to... Okay. All right. Well played. Well played. Go ahead. I know. You're probably mad. <laughs> that little one was nipping at your heels. That's all right. Um, that does boost his power a little bit. Okay. And... We can actually play both of these. Oh, man. Hmm. I, I know how to get that Drake on the next turn. I think I know how to get him. We're not going to attack, just because we only have the two. I want to see what he does, because I, I think I have a plan here. Nope. He just destroyed that plan. <laughs> we got to draw land. Oh, gosh, no. Uh, but you know what we are going to do? We're, we got four to attack with. He can only take out one. That means he's going to get six damage. We're going to get him down to ten life. That's fine with me. Okay. That makes me happy. If we can get rid of that Drake, we'll be okay. Um, hopefully he doesn't have anything. Hopefully he used up his stuff. Oh, pain fire. I was hoping he used up all of his instances, but yes. Yes. Oh, goodbye. Bye-bye. Ha-ha. <laughs> all attack. Hmm. Boom, boom, boom! <laughs> uh, goblins for the win! Goblins for the win! <laughs> oh, man. Oh, I love a good battle where it's edge to edge like that. And boom. Boom. Just take it. Let the goblins hit you. No! No, 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 no. <laughs> oh, that was such a good match, though. I mean, that was just like begging for that land to be drawn. <laughs> All right, we've hit the 40-minute mark. We're going to keep going. I'm feeling good. I'm exhausted, but I'm feeling good. Uh, it, uh, my adrenaline is pumping and I'm, 
I'm feeling great. Should we go goblin burn again? Hmm. Yes. <laughs> that was an easy decision. Yes, folks, you get all the derps with me stumbling all over my lines and uh, trying to talk to you guys. I've been stifling my yawns. Trying to hold them back. My brain's like suffocating from not getting enough oxygen up in here. But you know what? I'm doing okay. <laughs> I'm fighting. All right. Uh, what do we got going on? Black, green. Okay. It's fine. Yeah, get gutter snipe out next turn. So that we can... Hopefully draw another land so we can get him out. This is a great combo. Ooh, all creatures get minus one, minus one until end of turn. Ah, dirty! So dirty. Alright, well. Gutter snipe. Love that artwork. And that one's gone. All right. Well, oh, come on. Let's even this up then. There. Level playing field. Four lands each, no creatures. Let's do this. All right. Let's throw this guy out. I'm glad I didn't throw him out. I'm so glad I did not throw him out. Ooh, this is gonna be this is gonna be rough. Oh no, what are you casting now? Oh, they just drew two cards? Okay. Oh man. And none of my other goblins are out right now. Ooh. Playing from the grave. I see how this is going to roll. All right. Uh, shock. Yeah, it's the only thing we can play. No attackies. Legendary enchantment. When an enchanted creature dies, return it to the battlefield under your control. Bye bye. Okay, I see. It's just another way to protect it. That's fine. Can't do nothing. At two, these are too high cost right now. I need one more land. But I do have a shocky if they put something small out. Going to combat. Pass. No blocks. Gonna have to eat it. At least I might get a swing in next round. Okay. Sacrifice a permanent or take five. You can afford to take five. So I will swing with this. Obviously, this will be here to block that. That'll die. It'll come back. This thing comes back as what? Cave of... Uh, eternity they did sacrifice it okay turn it on to the battlefield yada 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 I guess I won't be getting a swing in 
Bummer. Yeah, that artifact's not worth sacrificing any goblin. Okay. Uh, return target creature card from graveyard to the battlefield. Okay. Ouch. Oh, and it's a six. Yep. Alright. We're in a sticky situation. How do we handle... Oh, no. You did not. There goes the dragon. Mm. No. I have to block. No. I have to block or I can go down to one life. Doesn't have trample. Good game. It's close. I think they got me. Yep. There's no way. There's no way I can come out on top. At least I can keep going. I will should be able to block for another round. Um, because if I let six, seven, eight, nine, I can't get skunked. There we go. I'm going to hit you for one, man. They're like, really? Really, bro? They don't want to lose any, any life. They're looking to see what they can do. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Well played. Oh, come on. No way. Oh, God. Well done, Magic Man Drake. Well done. He's a goner. <laughs> so am I. Well, there's nine. <sighs> Urgh. I will hit you. <laughs> it's all I got. But I'm going to let them finish me out the honorable way. And that's okay, folks, because it's not always about winning or being the best. It's about playing the game and having a great time. And that's what we did here today, folks. And we're going to end on a fantastic note. We're about to open some more booster packs. Let's go to the store and buy another pack to open. Let's see. Packs. There we go. Lovely. We got two to uh, end the day with, and I think that's a great idea. Let's see what we got here. Wild card. I really, I kind of like the slime bind. It's just an interesting card, and I like the art. It reminds me of the gelatinous cube or an ooze from D and D. Um, root snare, dagger caster. Oof. I like that. All right. Font of Agonies. Whenever you pay life, put that many blood counters on Font of Agonies. Pay to remove four blood counters from Font of Agonies and destroy target creature. That's not too shabby. Okay. Well, last one for the day, folks. I hope you enjoyed yourselves today. I know I did. Thank you so much again for watching. We are brought to you by Vermont Gaming Academy, located in the University Mall, right across from Applebee's in the beautiful South Burlington, Vermont. And the last one is a Mythic Rare Wild Card, which will help us out in the long run. All right, everybody. I am going to take a break and uh, get set up for Minecraft 
Feed the Beast Infinity Evolved. And um, today we'll be building a library live. It will probably be a couple hours long. Um, yeah, so that's what's coming up next on the Twitch feed. And uh, if you're watching this on YouTube, that video should be following uh, in the next day or so because it takes a little while to edit those live streams because the last one was like four hours long. <laughs> and uh, maybe what we'll do is we'll also maybe do one day where we just stream a bunch of MTG Arena. Um, so if you like one long event, let me know in the comment section below. If you prefer these hour-long segments, um, let me know. If you want one or two short ones, I might be able to try to work that in. Um, but more than likely, they're going to stay about between 45 minutes to an hour long. Um, if there's anything you guys want to let me know, leave it in the comments section below. Um, you know, let me know if the sound's working well, if you're having any video issues, um, anything like that, folks. Anything I can do to improve the channel is always welcome. I love constructive criticism, and uh, I appreciate everyone that's been commenting and um, helping me out along the way. This channel's really, really grown, um, and including the Twitch is starting to uh, grow very slowly, but but steadily. Um, so I'm very excited to bring you all this and I'm sorry I'm rambling here at the end. Um, but I just want to know, I want you guys to know how much I appreciate you and the community for allowing me to be able to do this. And, um, it's greatly, greatly appreciated. Like I said, I'm going to try, I know I'm going to buy some booster boxes of magic and, um, what I'd like to do is set a couple boosters aside for you guys to give away as prizes. Um, and that will come out of my own pocket. If we are sponsored enough to uh, get other prizes from, you know, Wizard wants to throw some in. Or, um, you know, if Vermont Gaming Academy does, you know, those will be presented by those companies. Um, thank you all again so much for watching. I greatly, greatly appreciate it. And I'll see you all in the next stream. Thank you so much.